Electric starter for my little 900 watt generator. A bitch boy. 513. Hey, let's do a bridge boy quickie. All right, so for me to water out at the ranch, I need to take a tub and a generator, run the pump that's in the tub to push the water out to the plants. Now, the bad part is that my little Chicago electric generator, the pull starter broke on it. So what I did is I pulled it off. Okay, so you can see that I got the uh, automatic recoil pull start device off of the generator. That's what it grabs. It grabs these two little pins and then spins it. But because this thing broke, it won't throw out anymore. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and take all this apart. First, disconnect the handle. Then you just go ahead and unscrew this device, right? You pull this section out right here. And now this thing is what throws a little arm out to grab that pin that I just showed you, okay? So once you do that, you need to figure out a way to turn that crane. So I cut an extension for a half inch ratchet, and then I put a 14 millimeter socket on it, and it goes right on there with just a little bit of play. See that, it's got just a little bit of play. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take that, hook it up to a drill and have an electric starter for my little 900 watt generator. With everything we do, you have to learn how to fix any problems that come up. Just consider yourself like out in Alaska and the closest hardware store is a thousand miles away, okay? If you take that attitude, then you'll be able to fix a lot of this stuff on your own. Okay, so what I do is I take that socket that I cut off the female end and then I put the 14 millimeter socket on there and that just goes right into my drill see that look at that all right so let's just turn it on give it a little touch just to feel it and then pull it away that is a fast fix for a generator that has a broken pull chain now what i did here you can see i drilled a hole in the middle so i'm going to put this back on right and then this will be able to go right through the center and spin it out. And just to give that a little bit better of a finished line, we're gonna snap in this one inch to three quarter bushing. It's an electrical part. We'll snap that right in there. Give it a little bit of a finish, okay? Shove the whole thing into your half inch chuck cordless. Tighten it up, which is real easy to do. Okay, now we got our little electric starter motor for a small 900 watt generator. Flip the power on, center in on the screw. You just give it a little touch on the trigger to get it tight. And there went my 14 mil. Shit, where'd it go? Oh, it popped off. When I pulled it out, the socket popped off and it's caught in there. Okay, I guess I gotta take this thing apart again. <laughs> so 15 minutes ago, it was broken. It works now, but now I gotta take it all apart to get the socket out, and I gotta figure a way to lock that socket in there nice and tight. Okay, so I took the cover of this thing off to take out the socket that got stuck in there, and what I learned on the first trial is that you wanna use a long, deep socket. This one's about two and a half, three inches deep, and it, goes, it can go all the way into the lock nut for that flywheel and still the socket sticks out of the hole that we drilled about an inch so that way it doesn't get stuck in there again like last time when i pulled it out it, it caught it snapped it off so this will keep it from getting caught inside there so let's see how it works this time just give it a little bump so you can feel it see the socket's still on ready to store you're like hey how do you start it you got to do that all the time well you have to have a power tool to start it but this half inch extension fits right in the handle right here just like an old model a remember that remember the model a's or model t's whatever they were where you had to hand crank the engine it's the same thing here we just drilled a hole connect to that nut and start it with a cordless drill Gotta love cordless power. It can do anything. Okay, so that's a 10 minute fix. From here at Bridge Boy 513, we'll see you next time. Power on.